Marcus Smith, creative director of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a brand new full-length Ratchet & Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 console. Today we're going to introduce you to some of the gameplay, characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. Whether you've played every game since Ratchet & Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. Oh. Clank? Clank? Humbacks? What is this place? Where are you, Clank? Maybe someone around here has seen him. Have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? Uh, green eyes, red antenna, very charming? Ratchet has been separated from his best friend and partner, Clank, and is now in a new dimension and a mysterious urban sprawl called Nefarious City. Let there be good news behind here. Ratchet quickly finds out that in this dimension, Dr. Nefarious is a much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please remember to thank our marvelous Emperor before, during, and after making your purchase. Emperor? Does that mean there are two Nefariouses now? Clank first, nefarious later. Maybe he's in this bazaar. Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds in Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Cities are full of life with traffic and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. Ratchet comes across Miss Zircon, the weapon vendor in Rift Apart. Wait a second. You forgot your order. Well, come right in. <laughs> Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous, or the resistance will not last. The resistance? Eh? Oh, apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still new to all of this espionage. Hostage. Clank has been taken by a mysterious new Lombax named Rivet. Clank! No! I need to go after that ship. How can I get off planet? It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. Oh. Phantom can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh. <gasps> this is so exciting. Club Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. Better look around. Dr. 
serious? So that sounds like a club, all right. Once Ratchet finds Phantom, he learns a couple of new moves. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse levels. This focus on mobility allows players to chain moves together to create exhilarating combat. Now let's jump into combat. A nefarious day spa. If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack Nefarious' propaganda blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. Looks easy enough. Dashing allows you to evade attacks or gain strategic advantages. Enemies can't hit what doesn't momentarily exist. Dimensional tears in the world allow you to use the Rift Tether, another new traversal mechanic to instantly pull yourself across battlefields to escape or flank enemies. Weapons in Rift Apart utilize the power of the DualSense wireless controllers, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback to allow players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the Burst Pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. But pulling the trigger fully unleashes a rapid-fire spread that covers more area. In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with enemies. With the Enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads. Or pull the trigger fully and unleash both barrels with a devastating close-range attack. Thanks to the haptics, the player will feel the power of their shots through their hands. Let's move ahead a little bit. As Ratchet attempts to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious juggernaut. Where did you even come from? Please stand still. During this fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. Thanks to the power of the SSD, we can near instantly teleport players to completely different locations. This isn't some small arena being loaded, but the entire level from a different planet. Let's jump over and see what's going on with Rivet and Clank. As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Where are you taking me? I was going to take you to my hideout. But first, I got to rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. Rift Apart includes several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from past games. Did we mention how stunning and alive our worlds are? 
Thanks to the power of the PS5 and the 3D audio, we've been able to create alien planets with an immersive density like never before. Let's check it out. Speedles, yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Ms. Zircon, the weapons vendor. Whoa. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, that is because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. In Rift Apart, you get to play with an explosive new arsenal, as well as a few returning classics. Here's another example of how we're using the dual sense. With the topiary sprinkler, players will feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare a throw of this garden grenade. Once on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been topiaried and are ready to be trimmed down. It appears some dimensional distortion is emanating from that cave. In addition to rift tethering and dimensional shifts, there are also many pocket dimensions scattered throughout the game. And the last speedle runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove, too. Smarty bot, what is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard, the Mortz's helper bot. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the speedle. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Well, hello there. Gotcha. Oh, dear. Maybe Maynard can lead me to the forest. Get away from this acid. Come on, Maynard! Let's find the Morts! Riding Speedles is one way of traversing Sargasso's acid swamps, and to do so quickly. Excuse me! Look out! I got it! I got it! See? Sometimes I don't crash. Stop! 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 There's the gelatonium factory. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robopet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. If you watched our previous gameplay demo, you may recognize the Goons for Less. This rebranded gang has been hired by Dr. Nefarious to attack Ratchet and Clank and are now also trapped in Rivet's dimension. Here's another new weapon. The Shatter Bomb is a frag-type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes. With haptic feedback, each explosion feels incredibly impactful. You can find a Lombax. Where are these doofuses coming from? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. Hard. 
This is just a small taste of some of the early gameplay in Rift Apart, but there is so much more. We have open areas to explore. Dimensional clank puzzles. Glitch challenges. Arena challenges. Aerial combat. Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. Armor to obtain and use in the first ever Ratchet and Clank photo mode. And giving more people access to playing our games is always important to us. As such, Rift Apart will offer a slew of accessibility options. We'll reveal more about this soon. Experience Rift Apart's new planets, weapons, intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. Are getting out of hand. On behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th.